without further ado everybody first game of group c in case you don't know how this works get some sound in in case you don't know how this works you get uh, three points if you win two and zero and you get two points if you win two and one. You get one point if you lose one and two. And you get zero points if you lose zero two. So basically uh, the W3L clan war system, right? And then in the group, the top two advance. They didn't tell us who advanced yesterday for the tiebreaker. Foggy advanced first place, strong performance there. Lolli at focus and Sock played a tiebreaker, but we don't have the results for some reason. And yeah, as I said, I'm saying it again, we can't change the graphics, we're sorry, this is not our choice, this is what we have to work with, but let's enjoy some Warcraft, eh? Go ahead, put the overlay on, the little box thingy, have the alerts on, wonderful, and no delay! Alrighty, so we got Linguagua for the orcs on the left hand side, we got 15 Sway playing the night elves on the right hand side. I thought that uh, 15 Sway was a one hit wonder, his WGL semi-final. I thought he did that once and then could never recover and, and never repeat it, but that dream hack, he did it! Alright, since they're starting to bitch, boom, timeout. Not having that, everybody. Not having that. So, we have the first clause of attack. That's kind of nice. This is my first Reforge cast in five months, I think. So, uh, if something, if I'm a little confused by things, I'm sorry. It's as hard for me as it is for you. <laughs> Let's just have a good time. Wait, did you just sell... No, the, the claws were on the keeper. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he sold the claws. But no, circle it is. Goes to the marketplace. Got these. It is a little annoying, isn't it? Um, your base is under attack thingy. Can't they disable it? Apparently not. Interesting creep route by 15 Sway. Going to the Murlocs right away with Treants. It's Oblate! Hey, 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 Linguagua! That is a stressful start to the game. We have Hunches, of course, and no AP yet. There's a decent scout out, so he sees the wisp moving, but is this looking like an AP? The little red dot on the left hand side close to Linguagua's base? Or is he just scouting things? Uh, just scouting it out, alright. The game sound is yeah, it's the game sound is kind of weird as the voice is very loud, but the rest is oh look at this AP position, that is so smooth. Let me know if the sound is getting better. I don't think they have music. See that is super loud. Oh, he scouts it. Incredible. It is a weird audio setting they use, gotta be honest. No sound at all? What? That can't be right. Could be fine. So, great reaction by Linguagua. But it was just a little distraction. This, of course, no all-in AP push. But no expansion. Now it's getting better, isn't it? Okay, now you should be able to hear it more clearly, but then this announcer voice thingy will probably blow our ears off. We'll see how it goes. Decent Blade Master harass so far. Ogre Mage is still up. Everything is a little delayed already. <clears throat> ah, they fixed it, I think. No blade. Can you steal this mage? That would be huge. Gets a nice uh, backstep out. Does he? Have, he has no more windwalk. 
He's gotta be careful here. But he really wants this last hit. And he succeeds and gets the claws. But he's getting entangled. And he's getting... What the? Oh, he has the big healing. I didn't even realize. Of course he does have the big healing. So he can hang around. Gets another entangle out. We'll probably have a wind walk in a bit. Start a stepping. Oh, Link walk out. Excellent play. That was one of the best greater mana usages. Uh, greater healing po uh, usages in a long time. But, wait, is he just dead now? Whoa, little birdie, oh, and he kills him. Oh no, why are you so over aggressive after such a big move? That was hella stupid. Um, okay, could have won the early game, but didn't. Um... Inspired by Fly, I guess, and 15 Sway, to smelling blood in the water, knows exactly, okay, it's Shadow Hunter time. I know where you are. You always go for the mercenary camp. And a nasty creep tag onto the mercenaries. Yeah, take up the wards first. Well done, they're easy to kill. Keeper is missing in this attack. Hunt is falling, so this is not the greatest attack. As 15 Sway is... Uh, or or Linguagua saving the Merc here. But yeah, a little unfortunate with the timing. Keeper was far away from this. It goes heck second. Okay. The kicks the first Shaman. Really aggressive game. Like, not your normal Night Elf vs. Orc game. <coughs> I mean, unit comp wise, for sure it is. But the way they move, the way they use the heroes. Blade Master might be a little too late. He's well equipped, though. Plus 9 damage is alright. That's not enough, is it? Can't be. Unfortunate thing for Lin Guagua. Shaman down. Can't get the mana. And the expo is up now. 15 Sway always the guy who relies on long and heavy tier 2. Not one of these guys who rushes tier 3. Oh, Purge. Oh, what was that movement? Grunt didn't really block. But alright. Keeper comes in once again. They are just constantly brawling. That's nice. The Entangle gets cancelled. Very focus esque here. Leaving the Blade Master away from the army. Just going for buildings. And there's no staff on the Keeper. That really hurts. He got it on the Blade Master to get out. And of course, here on Echo Health, there's only one shop. Man, this is so annoying. Both on very low supply. Because A15 sweat. Wait, he has 700 gold. Uh, I thought, okay, he doesn't have the resources, the necessary ones. But maybe he's waiting for the tech or something. But no, there's no tech. He got tier 2 already. Oh, keeper. Almost already in the air. Okay. This is a very, very promising start. Seems like Glingwagwa can hold his ground pretty well. A little bit of an issue that Blade Master didn't get level 3 yet, but Shadow Hunter is. That's more important. Heal Scroll also, but only one. Second one goes to 15 Sway alongside the Invul Potion, which is gonna be very, very annoying. And it pulls peons. Let's go. But no heal wave. I wonder if that healing is enough. Grunts aren't looking the healthiest. Finally the expo finishes. But yeah, this is Linguagua pushing at 41 out of 41 pop. Goes for the purge on the keeper. 
Oh, ho, 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 Invo Potion right away. No Serpent Wards yet. He's very careful, but he gets a surround. Nicely done. Hex on the Alchemist, and he's just dead. Had no heal spray anymore. Blade Master still at 30%, and I think Linguagua is surprising us all by this performance in game one. Lots and lots of misses as he's going for the second hero. What's up with the orcs these days? Hero focus galore. Saves himself into a town portal last second. Kills more units. Wonder... Oh, yes, more heal selves. That's so important to have on the Blade Master now. And now just siege. Towers are coming up. Man, there's something about Linguagua when we cast with uh, these graphics that he's a little stronger than usual. The keeper died? Oh yeah! In the base! Lightning shielded! <laughs> Didn't even see that. Well, it wasn't on the screen, but it kind of was on the screen, but it was in Chinese, so I couldn't understand. But I could have seen, because it is now grayed out. Um, and it's very early in the morning, and I'm only at my one and a half coffee. Aye, 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 that's a rough game for 15 Sway. Yeah, that expo belongs to me now. And how do you recover from this? No expo, no tier 3, no high supply, no big bank. Not the greatest items. Uh-oh, Hex again, but he couldn't get the kill on the Wisp in time, so there's a dispel. Like, Linguagua could 100% expand now. Love the shop. Not only going for the aggressive, but also, you know, a little defensive value, a little bit of recovery value. And when did this game go so sideways? When he let the Blade Master do whatever, right? Kill his expansion. Maybe it was. Oh, what wasn't really worth the Blade Master kill as he could have just ejected without the kill and still. Oh, Blade. He has a heal scroll, but that's about it. Linguagua! Ooh, Windwalk. Is he ticking down? No, he's not. Okay, so no knockout punch yet. No expo yet. Ah, there it is. Okay, so all Linguagua has to do is sit there and wait. And that's it. That is actually a cool waiting animation on the peon as he threw the hammer around. You see that? It's one of the best features of Reforged. <laughs> okay, finally the tier 3, but it feels like that's too late. Like, how is he supposed to get to that mass? Blade Master crit level 2, Tome of Retraining now. I guess it's for the Shadowhunter to go into Heal Wave. Hex not really necessary anymore. Yeah, good luck sieging that. Good luck sieging fortified towers. And this army. But okay, we're expanding here. That is a little obvious. But not too much? Like, it could work. It is probably the last Wisp. Yo, very important. As the scout is coming down, he sees it. Nice, Linguagua with one of his better games in probably this entire year. Will probably not be enough, but he can go for Berserker or something to kill it. Heal potion. Did he have mana potion? We reskilled by the way to heal wave. 
close to level 2 as well. Really good usage of the Tomb of Retraining. It's not too expensive anymore. Yeah, and 15 sway. Still not breaking up keep. Still waiting for tier 3. Rather poor items. Only one invul potion. Towers to defend this. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, usually you break orc bases with a mass huntress, but against serpent wards and towers and lightning shield, like, what do you do? Easy kill from the blade master. He has the staff, can come back. Man, Lingwag was on point. This one overextension in the earlier stages. That's about it, isn't it? And now the expo is running. Enemies expansion shut down. We do have tier 3, so I guess... Wait, what's he building? Would love to know what the two buildings were. Lores? Chimera Ruth? Like, total desperation? <laughs> Come on, show it! <clears throat> we'll see if there's dryads or bears or whatever. Oh man. Yeah, these acid bombs don't do too much, only level 1. Orb is kind of fine. Still don't know where they filter the green in the overlay, though. Does anyone know what these items were? Uh, these buildings were? No, right? Shutting down the tower, regening up. The Wisp will probably be purged and killed. Exactly, so they can't detonate. Super important prior to the fight to keep the Shaman on mana. Damn, when was the last time you saw Linguaba play such a clean game? Now, after a very, very aggressive early game, we have a little bit of a stalemate. 15 Sway doesn't want to tap out yet. He's going Glaives? Glaives and what? I still don't know what the buildings in the bottom right are! Um, if this is Chimeras... Isn't Lingwagwa just dead? Oh, maybe he's attacking early enough. Oh, yeah, this is a big army. That's a big orc army. Shouldn't be any fun for 15 Sway fighting this. He's trying his best. First, Glaive is already down. Purges on the Alchemist. And he's probably just going to go down. There's a staff. But sometimes after a purge, you can't staff. He just dies. With a potion on him? And a staff ready? Mm hmm. GG. Well, well, well. Whatever these two buildings are, we will never know. As Lingwagwa wins game one. Damn, banger sound. Amazing. Yeah, 1-0. For the Guagua. I did not expect this to be honest. I did not expect this at all. I thought 15 Sway is just gonna wreck him. But I was wrong. For once, I was wrong. There you go, that's standing. And as I said, one map is very important. One map already gives you one point. But yeah, Ling Guagua. Better than expected. 15 Sway had no real answer to this. Didn't expect this.
Yeah, I think at that point, 15 Sway was already very, very desperate. He tried several times to stay in this game. With an expansion. <coughs> and then, like, who plays Glaive Throwers? And maybe Chimeras? Maybe Mountain Giants? Whatever that was? I don't know. Cool that he's fighting and not tapping out too early, but there was uh, not really a chance in this game. Expo shut down too early. I guess he slipped a little when he lost the blade, but hey, that happens. Good hero levels. Oop, that's better. A plus for the stream description. <laughs> yeah, I tried my best. I tried my best and... I know that not everybody is reading it, but we'll see. And I will throw the ban hammer on people who whine too much. So our second map is Tight Hunters. Linguagua punching for three points here if he wins this 2-0. But 15 Sway, of course, still with a chance to come back and make it a 2-1 to at least get two points. And this is not the result that he was looking for. Thank you, Bull Rush, for the 100 bits. Fast here it is on Linguagua's side. No war mill yet on this map. Can just play it fast here, Grunts. Linguagua loves to base lame, base race. And he could easily do it. On this map, there's three avenues to your opponent's base, so it's doable, not too easy, as the map is relatively small. And Keeper, of course, on the other side. That is a given. And yeah, opening with a grunt to creep. I think this is the first time I'm seeing Tide Hunters on Reforge graphics. Nice detonate. To give the keeper level 2, that's sweet, so Entangle is ready as well. So it's gonna be like, how aggressive does he want to play this? Gold Titan, thank you for the 9 month resub. Ra 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 ra. <laughs> Turtles look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Creeps in general often look better than the army. <laughs> no level 2 yet, so no chain lightning last hits. It's not the biggest deal. It's way more important to deny keeper level 3 than to get your own level 2. Oh, sweet last hit. Big last hit, actually. Got some decent items, especially the hood. It's kind of nice. And what was... I don't even know the build, really. Haven't spent much time in Linguagua's base. Draining lots of moon juice early. Getting, once again, rid of a building. Stressful early game for 15 Sway again. Isn't it? Was that just the Windows update sound? <laughs> Thank you, Leroy Jenkins, for the 913 sub. Or someone plucked something in, you know? If you put on a USB dongle, there's still the I think I heard that. But maybe I'm just hearing stuff. Anyways. This is, of course, the strong timing for Entangle. As you don't really need a unit to kill a grunt. Oh, was that a deny? Would love to see if that was a deny. Not sure. Can we uh, praise the War 3 Champions team for introducing the exclamation mark if there was a deny? Praise War 3 Champions team. Gets the dust. Does he get the staff? Would be amazing. I mean, not really amazing for the fast. He doesn't really need that, but to take it away from the keeper. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
正遭到攻击。All right, T2 on both sides. TC Raider Shaman, no Shadow Hunter. What? That's wild. Okay, is he playing Shockwave? Is he playing Shockwave base race? And Shaman just for Dispel? Thank you, Gold Titan, for another 100 bits. Let's go, War 3 community. TC Aura first. Okay. <laughs> These water elementals look like Genie from Aladdin. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. If you kill them, do they grant you wishes? <laughs> do you have to rub them for them to come out? Oh my god. Can we please play more on Tide Hunters? <laughs> Oh, that caught me off guard. That thing you saw there was a demon hunter, by the way. I really don't know if it's the greatest decision to go for these custom hero models. <laughs> um, okay, Scroll of the Beast, level 3, good creeping. Yeah, do we really need Illidan here? This looks like the ultimate, guys. They do have the Robin Williams ones, of course. <laughs> Uh, or The Rock, right? Isn't The Rock the new one? Or was it Will Smith? I don't remember. Alright. How to recover from this? Town portal out. And uh, once again, it looks like Linguagua's game is pretty strong. Interesting to see a Demon Hunter here just against the TC. Oh yeah, Will Smith. Ah oh, yeah. Okay, we see Dryads. Headhunter transition. Dryads, of course, amazing against the TC who did go for Storm, but we see it. Uh, we saw it before. Boom. Uh, we saw it before that he used the Tome of Retraining, so he's not shy of investing money to just retrain. If he saves a couple of raiders here, this might be decent. But the Demon Hunter is leveling big time. Robin Williamettles. <laughs> oh man, it's way too early. <sighs> okay, 15 Sway is defending this for now at least. With Giants and Demon Hunter, it of course has a decent catch and good damage. Even a mana burn kill. You barely saw it, what was there. And what's the TC if there's no mana on him anymore? Not that great, to be honest. Yeah, put that USB dongle back in, brother. Uh, off we go. Surround the keeper. He has no TP anymore? Oh no, what a disastrous game for 15 Sway again. Trying to get out with Force of Nature, but it doesn't really work, and that's a kill. Oh, man. Guagua caught him pretty off guard, didn't he, with that strategy. Raider, Shadowhunter, Shaman, TC. Who plays that? Dude, what's this guy doing with the USB dongle? <laughs> um, yeah, we get bears. But you can transition relatively easy into Kodos. And the expansion is, oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm of course, for the past two years, I've been a pretty big Linguagua fan, and then my fandom dropped a bit. But he's completely destroying 15 Sway. Like, no chance at all. And he's getting caught again, and the Demon Hunter has no way out. 
if there's a couple of end snares. Whoo, first bear gets caught. Oh my god, nothing is going right. Zeppelin, at least. That's the way out. But that was also a little expensive in a situation where you're already behind. That's not a... Oh my god, he's getting surrounded. GG, 2-0. Three points for Guagua, who is playing a hell of a lot better than expected. What was that? 15 sway off day or just Ling Guagua playing out of his mind? Great. Not bad at all. Applause, applause for Ling Guagua. <laughs> and the genie elementals. All right, um, that was cool. I don't know if the TC made the sickest difference here. I don't think the storms were too massive, but um, grunt opening into headhunters is becoming a little bit of a thing and vice versa. I really love raiders in this matchup, on this map especially, since Night Elves uh, tend to go dry and you can't single them out if there's not too many so very very good creep checking very good control in the mid game and that's a 2-0 so I guess they stick to the schedule which would mean there's a 20 minute break I would say we do a little bit of a break so I can refill my coffee and get my composure back. You have time to spread the clip about the water elementals and then uh, we do some little Q&A reaction discussion thing whatsoever. I think we're all in a good mood today. I haven't seen too many complaints yet um, about graphics and stuff. Seems like a good audience. Guys, it seemed like a good audience. There's a two minute break now. I don't understand anything. But okay, we see some highlights again. From this match. That was the TP and there must be lightning shields. Yeah, on this archer there. And zap, zap, zap. It's also the perfect position, right? Nice. Really nice. That was a sweet TP, a uh, sweet lightning shield onto the TP. Ah, oh, they didn't show the real highlight of the series. Ah, uh, anyway. It's way too many kills. Linguago with good timings. 15 sway. I don't know if he's the best at adapting to unusual strats and timings yet. Feels like he's very, very good playing the norm. I hear it was all, oh, it was long, long done. Uh. <laughs> I shed a tear a little bit. Good fun, everybody. Good fun in the early morning hours. That's what we want to see. Highlights off point? Yeah, I 100% agree. And that was just a nail in the coffin with uh, another surround. Using the end snares really re well. I mean, it's not that hard. To surround if there's no units, they show the highlights again. That's a weird order. And now they cut them. Okay. Good, good, good. That was game number one. That is three points for Linguagua. Time for another Linguagua match. This one versus 1 2 0. Not gonna be too easy at all. But Linguagua seems to be in shape. And let's see uh, which kind of 1 2 0 shows up here. So, oh man, yeah, a little bit of a break and then, yeah, they have a 10 minute break on the counter here. Let me just refill my coffee and then we have a little Q&A. Since we have no delay, we can talk about whatever we want. So, see you in a bit.